Hello guys, another video. Well, what a start to the week. What a start. Ten years in the making. Amir Khan versus Kelbert. The, the British showdown we've all been waiting for is finally been set for February next year. For February next year. What day in February? Manchester Arena. Spare me guys. Nineteenth of February night twenty twenty two and the Manchester Arena. Manchester e Emmy and Arena. Wow wow wow. What an announcement. What an announcement. Ten years in the making. In my opinion the fact should happen after Brook back in early, late twenty fourteen, early twenty fifteen when they're both in their primes when Brook beat Sean Port for the IBF title and late in that year where Khan beat Devin Alexander. You, Reed's best performance of his career, probably best performance of the year, both career until that year, 2014. It's early, early 2015, that's when the fire would have been the most commercially successful. It would been the most exciting, they were both in the prime, so more of a 50-50 fight. He wins this fight, it all depends on Brook. If Brook can make 149, which is the catch weight they agreed at, then he beats him. If, if Brook can't make the weight, his weight trade like he was at, with Crawford and can't make stop him or beat him on decision. It's all down to books. This kind of all down to how much books got left in the tank. If books got got a bit left, he did not count out in in early to mid rounds. If he's got nothing left, he's a completely washed up. Which, which maybe because that card that Crawford fight fights so a lot to me that maybe half blind and his his eye socket is not fully recovered, and that I know sockets are vulnerable. Especially with the right hand. So it's all down to Brook. If Brook can. It's got Brook's it's still got some left in, some tank, some, you know, fuel in the tank, then he stops, you know, Khan. If not, then Khan might beat my points or stop him late or maybe early. Who knows? It all depends on Brook. All depends on Brook this fight. It's, it's Brook's fight to lose. In the prime, Brook would easily have knocked Khan out in the prime. I have no doubt about that. It's a shame it happened too late, like the Mayweather Pacquiao fight happened 10 years too late, or Billy, 6 years too late. Because when Khan got knocked out by Kenel in 2016, same year when um, Kel you know, took on Glockin and got stopped in the fifth round, his eye socket being broken, that's when the fight was over. They were both out in that primes. They were, they both passed it. Those, that year, you know, it was detrimental to both fights' careers. That's the year when they, they were just they became washed up. Since then, the new fight, you know, been the same but since that, those fatal fights. So anyway, it's all down to Brook. If Brook got anything left, then he stops Khan. If not, then Khan may beat him. All down to Brook. Brook's fight to lose. Right on what Khan brings to the table. Khan can it. Khan not in his fight. He's not, he's not got the speed, the, the push resistance, the reflexes. Either, but in my opinion, I think Khan is maybe less washed up. But he's got some more... Energy left and you know, Brook has. I mean, Brook's more washed up, to be honest with you. Taking more punishment than Khan has. Especially with a Glockin fight. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Next time, guys, you take care. Adios.